In this video, I will tell you why you might be slowing down your learning by using game development tutorials. But wait, before you smash the dislike button, hear me out. Because I have been through this myself and there's actually a way to fix the problem of using tutorials. More on that later. But first, what is the actual problem of using tutorials? Like many of you, I relied heavily on tutorials when I started my game development journey. I would follow a tutorial step by step, implement everything as shown and think that I have learned something. But when I hit a problem with the implementation later on, I was stuck. My first move, check the comments under the original video. Maybe someone found a solution for my problem. If someone found a solution, I would copy it. If not, I would get frustrated and either give up or look for another tutorial on the same topic. Repeating the cycle. The real issue here, I was in problem solving myself. I was just copying solutions. But here's the thing, game development is not about memorizing solutions. It's about building the skills to solve problems on your own. It's about thinking critically, analyzing potential causes, testing different solutions and learning from failures. So how do you actually learn these skills from tutorials instead of just following along? As promised, I found a method for myself that changed how I consume tutorials and helped me to get more out of them. This method shifts tutorials from a crutch to a tool for real learning. It consists of three simple steps, with the first two steps being the foundation and the third step is what truly accelerates your learning progress. So let's jump into step one. Just watch the tutorial. Don't implement anything shown yet. I know, this might seem counterintuitive since many tutorials are meant to teach the implementation. But the key here is to focus on absorbing the information, not just replicating it. Take notes, yes, real handwritten notes if possible. But the most important part at this stage, resist the urge to implement anything. Your only goal here is to understand the concepts being taught. And after finishing the tutorial, take a break before moving to step two. This gives the information time to sink in. But after the break, it is finally time to get your hands dirty. Try to implement what you have learned, but without looking at the tutorial. This forces you to recall and apply the concepts yourself. And don't worry about replicating the implementation exactly. In game development, most problems have multiple solutions. If you get stuck, take a break before going back to the tutorial. But if you really cannot solve a problem on your own, check the tutorial for the specific problem you are facing in the moment. Avoid the mindset of, since the tutorial is already open, I might as well follow it completely. Because the goal at this stage is to implement things on your own and transition from passive copying to active learning. And with that, we have reached step three. This is a step that truly transformed how I learn from tutorials. And in my opinion, it is a step where real learning happens. The concept is simple. Expand the tutorial example. Take what you have implemented already and modify it. Add something new that was not covered before. This step removes the safety net, forcing you to apply concepts in your own way and engage in problem solving without relying on pre-existing solutions. And at this point, you are not longer just following instructions, you are tackling real challenges. And that's how you develop long-term game development skills. And these are the three steps of the approach. First, watch the tutorial. Don't implement anything along, just absorb the information and take notes. Don't forget to take a break afterward. Second, implement what you have learned, but without directly using the tutorial. If you get stuck, try problem solving before referring back to the tutorial. And lastly, expand on the tutorial's example. Modify it, add to it and apply the concepts in new ways. Yes, this method takes longer than simply following a 20 minute tutorial. Sometimes it even can take several days. Yes, it can also feel uncomfortable because you are stepping out of the safe structure 
snapshot world of tutorials. But ask yourself this, do you just want to implement something or do you want to learn the skills to implement those things yourself? Of course, everyone learns differently. Some might learn everything just by following along a tutorial. But for me, it actually slowed down my progress. That is also why my tutorials focus more on teaching concepts rather than providing step-by-step -step instructions for certain examples. So that you are encouraged to think, experiment and implement those things yourself rather than just copying me. But that's basically everything I wanted to tell you today. How do you usually approach game development tutorials? Have you found yourself stuck in the copying loop? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and with that see you next time.